Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Today we are going to show you how to remove and replace the AC compressor on a Volkswagen Jetta 5th generation. We are demonstrating on a 1.9 turbo diesel engine, but it, it might be the same for uh, for the gas and it will be very close proce procedure as well. That's the used compressor that we have right here. And uh, if you need any of the part numbers, uh, serial numbers right here guys, we're using a used one because we have a parts car here at the shop so we'll be installing this one. So stay with us to see how we're going to replace it and what you need to do in order to have ice cold AC again. Alright guys, so what we need to do first, we need to jack the car up, especially, especially the uh, passenger side of the vehicle, we need to uh, install a jack stand as well, don't rely on the jack itself. What you need is a 17 mm wrench uh, right there and uh, you need to apply it right there on that tensioner, okay, like that, and you need to go clockwise now and uh, it will release the belt and once you do that, there will be a lot of pressure, but when you do that, you can just go ahead and pull the belt, the belt out. As you can see, it will, it's really limited room. Okay, pull it out from the alternator like that. And now you can let go. Just be very careful because that thing is spring loaded. Okay, and that's the belt right there. It's still holding barely a little bit on the, on the alternator pulley. Wish we had more room to show you guys. Okay, now it fell. Okay, and if you come underneath, you can pull it out of the crankshaft and the AC. And that's the belt right here, guys. Uh, pretty simple. It's very short belt because it has electric power steering pump. So uh, uh, this one is made by Gates. Okay, right here, that's the number if you need it. And you can see this one has, uh, has some significant damage and wear. All the cracks, that, that's not going to last very long. So definitely will need to be replaced. Alright well guys, after you remove the belt, you need to make sure that you don't have any, any pressure in the system. If not, you need to drain it from the low pressure side. But don't breathe that stuff in, do it outside. We don't have anything, ours, ours is empty. And now, uh, right here, uh, those are the two hoses that go in the AC compressor, as you can see from the top right there. With a T45, both of them are with that T2. Uh, usually those are pretty tight. We, we got them uh, loose before before we start the video so we can save you some time and you need to just turn them by hand. They're just tight at first but if, if you have a bit for a ratchet and extension that will be really convenient since it's very limited room there. And go ahead and remove the first one and once you remove the first one you have more room for the second one. Alright okay, guys, that's what the boat looks like. As you can see, pretty long boat. And uh, now you need to just grab the hoses and um, stay out of the way because there might be some pressure inside. Okay, you can hear even though the system is empty, there is always some pressure in the AC. And uh, leave it out of the way, make sure you don't get it dirty. And now you can go ahead and uh, remove the next one uh, next to it right here, this one. Okay, we're removing the second ball now and uh, uh, the second hose, just in case they're out of the way, but you won't have any pressure in this one since the pressure came out of the first one already. And uh, we're very, very uh, close to removing the compressor now, guys. Stay with us to see what else we need to do. Alright guys, now we need a 13mm wrench and we need to remove two bolts. Uh, we have two bolts on the top and one on, on the bottom. Stay with us to see. Okay, the second one is located right there. Uh, it's kind of like limited here guys, but we'll, we'll try to do our best to show you exactly where it is. Okay, and uh, you need to remove these two on top now. Okay, and after that, uh, after you get them loose, they go they go pretty easy. Okay guys, we got both of them loose as you can see. Uh, I don't think you'll be able to remove both of them. Just leave them in the compressor, that's fine. Uh, because we'll just drop it with the bolts inside of it, otherwise you have really hard time pulling them out and putting them back in. So uh, the new compressor you'll need to install it with the bolts inside the compressor. And now we need to go on the bottom of the vehicle and uh, there, is, there is one more bolt with that same 13 millimeter wrench right there that we'll need to remove. As you can see, this one. So take this one off as well. Before you remove the bottom bolt all the way, you need to release the wire, okay, like that, for the for the clutch, for to engage the clutch. So it's it's pretty simple. And now you can go ahead and remove the bolt all the way. And uh, before you remove it all the way, you, you need to hold it with your hand because uh, it will drop, and uh, it's it's pretty heavy. 
Okay, right there. This is the turbo. The turbo you can pull it out. There is plenty of room. And now the compressor will come out. Okay, and you need to play with it to get it out of there uh, through the through the holes. You can see the water holes and the AC compressor holes as well as well. Okay, you just need to mess with it a little bit and it will come out of there. Just be careful not to damage the hoses, not to cut them. Okay, and uh, that's the that's guys the compressor right here. That's the used to uh, the the old one, and now we'll install a new one. Okay, and this is the replacement one. So uh, what you need to do now, you just put it back together uh, in reverse order that we took it apart. But you need to make sure that you have these two bolts in before you install it on the car, because otherwise you won't be able to put the bolts in. And the third bolt, you can you can do it later. That's the bolt that we have here for the third bolt. And now you need to you need to just put it where it's supposed to be. Do. Okay guys, we got everything uh, tightened now, as you can see, just in reverse order, you install it, in, uh, get the three bolts tight and you install the hoses. And all we have left is to do the serpentine belt, we have a video how to install it guys, if you have trouble with that. And we also have a video how to recharge the AC system, so find it on our channel or on the, uh, under the playlist. Thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe for one new video every day.